The video I am about to make will really surprise you. I myself cannot justify what I am about to do. Have you ever imagined adding a series of natural numbers to obtain a negative result? Sounds incredible, right? So in today's tutorial, we are going to find out the sum of all the natural numbers. This is what I mean. You know, the smallest natural number is one because we say natural numbers are the counting numbers. One is a very smaller number. If you add it to the next one, which is two, you're getting three. You can see three is bigger than one. The next number after two is three. So we can see one plus two plus three. And this is equal to six. Our main target is to add all the natural numbers together. Next one, we have one plus two plus three plus four. Uh, and this equal to 10. Let's keep on adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and this is equal to 15. Let's add one more. We have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and this is equal to 21. Can you see the more you add these numbers in ascending order, the more the result keep on increasing positively. So since we realize the numbers keep on increasing, let us use algebra to represent the summation of all the natural numbers. You know, in algebra, we use letters to represent numbers. So instead of doing all this, you know, the whole of this board cannot be enough for us. So we can assign a letter to represent the sum of all the numbers. Then we solve for the letter, whatever we obtain is said to be the sum of all the natural numbers. Okay, you can see my board cannot support all the natural numbers. This is why I stop at 13. But this dot 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 is telling us that the numbers keep on increasing in ascending order. Because you can see 1, 2, 3, after 13 they have difference of 1. So since I cannot write all the natural numbers, let me set this to be equal to s such that in the end we are going to solve for s whatever the value of s is is said to be the sum of all the natural numbers but i come to realize one pattern here if i take one plus and i add the next three numbers i'm getting nine add the next three numbers you're getting 18. Add the next three numbers, you're getting 27. Add the next three numbers, you're getting 36. And that order, all this equal to S. Look at one pattern here. Have you realized that all these are multiple of nine? Nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 18. 9 times 3 is 27, and 9 times 4 is 36. So we are going to be getting multiple of 9 up to infinity. So since this is true, we can now factor 9 out since 9 can divide all these numbers in that order. So we have, still we have 1 here plus 9. So I'm, I'm going to factor 9 out. So from here, 9 divided by 9 is 1 plus 18 divided by 9 is 2, 27 divided by 9 is 3, 36 divided by 9 is 4. This is how we are going to get these numbers 5, 6, the whole of this, remember, equals S. But look at these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you, have, you see we have dot dot. It is exactly repeating these numbers which we have set to be equal to s. So instead of this, we can now write s. So we have one plus nine, instead of this one plus two, in that order we have s. And we have set this one initially to be equal to s. One plus nine s after expanding, the whole of this equal to s. So we are going to solve for s. Take nine s to the right, it becomes negative. We have one equals s minus 9s 
and s minus 9s is equal to negative 8s. So we have 1 equals negative 8s. Our main target is to solve for s. So now we can divide both sides by negative 8, which is the coefficient of s. This will cancel this. Finally, you can see that s is equal to negative 1 over 8. s is equal to negative 1 over 8. You can see that after adding this series of natural numbers, we finally obtain a negative result. How is it possible? I don't even know why. But I have to conduct a research to find out why we get in this negative result. If you have any idea to why we're getting this negative result, kindly state it in the comments box below. Bye-bye.